गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग यस गुड मॉर्निंग आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू इन दिस लेक्चर ऑफ आवर बेसिक सिविल एंड मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टू दैट इज बेसिक मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग बी एम येस्टरडे वी हैव डिस्कस मेनी कंसेप्ट वी हैव सीन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द सिंगल स्टेज मल्टी स्टेज रेसिप्रोकेटिंग कॉम्प्रेसर्स we have seen construction and working of the vein blower also i want to revise the concept of the vein blower or vein type of compressor which is nothing but the rotary compressor once again in this particular lecture the structure is in front of you and i think uh, i had asked you to draw this diagram in your notebook have you drawn it yes sir yes, yes, yes sir yeah so yes sir okay good you have drawn it and you know how it works when the shaft is rotating the rotating disc will also start rotating inside the casing inside the housing and vanes are also going to be get rotated these size length of the vanes is adjusted by using the springs in this particular mechanism air is taken inside from the left side and that lot of air volume of certain air is transferred in the next portion and here at the outlet you have seen that area is very less and when more volume of the air is put or is pressurized in the small area it is get highly compressed and such highly compressed air is a taken outside from the uh, delivery port from the high pressure air outlet that part we have studied yesterday so this all construction and working is explained over here in this particular slide in a four important points the pressure ratio of the vane blower is a four and the speed is 3000 rpm means the rotating disc is moving with 3000 revolutions per minute eka minute la 3000 vela sadharanta ki rotating disc phirte mhanje you can imagine with such high speed the vanes are rotating inside okay and that's why very easily very fast highly compressed air we can get at one end तीन हजार आरपीएम नी मधली रोटेटिंग डिस्क फिरते म्हणजे त्याचे जे व्हेन्स आहेत ते किती वेगानं फिरत असतील याचा एक आपण कल्पना करू शकतो आणि त्याच वेगानं फिरवली गेलेली आणि प्रेशराइज केलेली हवा ही कंटिन्युअस बेसिस वर आणि एम्पल अमाउंट मध्ये हायली कॉम्प्रेस्ड एअर वी कॅन गेट ऍट दी डिलिव्हरी एंड इट इज पॉझिटिव्ह डिस्प्लेसमेंट टाईप दॅट वी ऑल आर नोईंग कि बाबा रेसिप्रोकेटिंग आणि रोटरी हे दोन्ही सुद्धा पॉझिटिव्ह डिस्प्लेसमेंट चे टाईप आहेत मीन्स वी आर प्रोव्हायडिंग प्रेशर वी आर अप्लाइंग प्रेशर ऑन दॅट एअर अँड द अप्लाइड प्रेशर इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द मुवमेंट ऑफ द एअर इन अ फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन यामध्ये आपण एअरवर प्रेशर अप्लाय करतो आणि त्यामुळे जी एअर आहे ती पुढच्या दिशेनं डिस्प्लेस होते दॅट्स वाय इट इज पॉझिटिव्ह डिस्प्लेसमेंट टाईप ऑफ द कॉम्प्रेसर okay it contains a cylindrical rotor fitted eccentrically inside a casing this is the construction it contains a cylindrical rotor a goal rotor ahe jo aat madhe fix kelela ahe and that rotor touches the casing at the top and keeps gap at the bottom ani eka bajula to tacha केसिंगच्या अत्यंत जवळ जातो आणि दुसऱ्या बाजूला तो भरपूर मोठा गॅप जनरेट करतो द स्लायडिंग व्हेन्स आर प्लेस्ड इन रॅडियल स्लॉट ऑफ रोटर बाय स्प्रिंग आणि त्या रोटर वर स्लाइड होणारे स्लाइड मीन्स घसरू शकणारे व्हेन्स आपण प्रोव्हाइड केलेले आहेत आणि त्या व्हेन्सला आपण स्प्रिंग पण अप्लाय केलेला आहे द व्हेन्स मूव्ह आउटवर्ड ड्युरिंग मोशन ड्यू टू स्प्रिंग ग्रॅव्हिटी and centrifugal action vanes are always applying pressure on the wall of casing casing chi ji internal wall hai tachavar vanes nehmi pressure apply kartat and why 
इट अप्लाइज द प्रेशर ड्यू टू द सेंट्रीफ्युगल एक्शन एखादी गोष्ट ज्यादा बाहर फिर सेंट्रीफ्युगल एक्शन जनरेट हो ज्यादा वेन्स है क्लोजली फिटेड रह केसिंग इंटरनल वॉल द रोटेशन ऑफ द रोटर कैरीज द एयर एंट्रैप्ड बिट्वीन द वेन्स एंड द केसिंग फ्रॉम द सक्शन साइड टूवर्ड्स डिलिवरी पाइप एंड वेन दट रोटर इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट रोटेटिंग वेन्स आर ऑल्सो रोटेटिंग एंड दे आर एंट्रैपिंग द वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर प्रत्येक रोटर ऐसी गैप मध्य वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर कैरी के ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम सक्शन एंड टू डिलिवरी एंड एंड एट द डिलिवरी एंड एवरीबडी हेज सीन दट दिस लॉट ऑफ वॉल्यूम इज कॉम्प्रेस्ड इन दि स्मॉल एरिया एंड हाईली कॉम्प्रेस्ड एयर इज अ टेकन आउट साइड so this was all about the vein blower do you want to write it yes sir okay then uh, i'll tell and uh, i think you will have to immediately write it down give the heading vein blower vein blower first point the pressure ratio the pressure ratio the pressure ratio observed the pressure ratio observed in vein blower in vein blower is 4 is 4 the pressure ratio observed in vein blower is 4 and the speed is and the speed is 3000 rpm and the speed is 3000 rpm speed is 3000 rpm it is it is it is positive displacement type compressor it is positive displacement type of compressor next point it contains it contains it contains it contains a cylindrical rotor it contains a cylindrical rotor fitted eccentrically fitted eccentrically fitted eccentrically inside a casing inside a casing inside a casing inside a casing the rotor touches the rotor touches the rotor touches the rotor touches the casing the casing at the top at the top at the top and keeps gap at bottom and keeps gap at the bottom full stop next line the sliding vanes are placed the sliding vanes are placed in 
radial slot in radial slots of rotor of rotor by springs by springs by springs these veins these veins these veins move outward move outward during motion during motion due to due to spring spring comma gravity and centrifugal action and centrifugal action full stop the rotation of rotor the rotation of rotor carries carries the air entrapped the air entrapped between the veins the air entrapped between the veins and the casing and the casing and the casing from suction side from the suction side from the suction side towards the delivery pipe towards the delivery pipe towards the delivery pipe now after learning this uh, vane type of the compressor we will move towards lobe type of the compressor lobe type of the blower and here in the lobe type of the blower or lobe type of the compressor the construction you can see in front of you on your screen in this lobe type of the compressor there is a casing you can see the casing is colored with the red color this is the casing casing is nothing but the cover or the housing the shield provided to the mechanism and here you can see that there are two lobes he je structure ahe okay that structure is nothing but of the lobe structure he lobe hai lobe manje kay ashe gol gattu astat ani ashe teen gattu eke thikani ekatra kelele ahe okay आणि त्याचा जो शेप आहे हा शेप तुम्ही पाहू शकता दॅट पर्टिक्युलर शेप ऑफ दी लोब आर इन दी ऑफ दी वाय शेप यू कॅन सी देर इज अ वाय शेप ओके and out of those two lobes you can see at the center there is a shaft arrangement this is the shaft arrangement there is a hole and on in that hole there is a shaft means the lobe is fixed around the shaft and the lobes are adjusted with each other in such a way that the circular part of the lobe 
is going to be fixed in another cavity of the lobe. Don't low by and you can see that here there is a cavity. There is a gap. There are three gaps and three lobes. These are the gaps. Have you seen the gaps? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, I have indicated it. This is the Y type of lobe. There is a gap. And three gaps and three lobes are there. This is one, this is two, this is three. Three circular part of the lobes are there. And you can see that this circular part is fitted in the gap of another lobe. Circular part jo ahe lobe cha, goal jo part ahe jo gattu ahe, to kaya hoto ahe? Dusreya lobe cha gap madhe perfect basto ahe. मुझे तुम्हें जर पहला तो थोड़ा सा स्ट्रक्चर कैसा है कि चेन अनेक तरह से टीथ हस्ते बगा हैव यू सीन एवर चेन एंड दैट टीथ अरेंजमेंट यस सर यस सर तब बरोबर कैसा था चेन चक गैप में दे बरोबर तो टीथ फिक्स होतो त्या पद्धति ना इतना जो कैविटी है इतना जी गैप है तो गैप में दे हाँ लोब is rotated by using turbines or electric motors like our vane type of the compressor kai kela jata ha jo lobe ahe itha jo shaft ahe ta shaft la hacha at madhe jo shaft ahe ta shaft la rotated by means of what by means of Turbines or motor, motor ke wahala zoodun ha shaft phirro la zato. Shaft phirla ki kaya hota hai? Lobes are going to start rotating. Suppose this shaft you are going to rotate in clockwise direction, then lobe will also start rotating in a clockwise direction. And in clockwise direction madhe move hota na kaya hota hai? Ha jo lobe ahe, apan ya lobe la nao diyo A. This A type of the lobe provides energy to move this M lobe. Hello, apni am now do. Ha jo A lobe hai, to kya karto? Ya M lobe la dhaka de to, jerk de to. And this M lobe will move in this direction, anti-clockwise direction. And here, A part will come and this A part will fix in this cavity. Once again, the next part, B, will take position of the A and it will push the next lobe. Ha jo N lobe hai, ha N lobe. नंतर कुटे ना रहे तब जागे हो रहे ना तर हाँ जो B आ है तो N ला पुश करे इन दिस वे कंटिन्यूअसली the lobe fixed on the rotating shaft will move another lobe अनि हे lobe आत मधे फिरत रहते अत लोब कशे फिरती नहीं ऐसे थोड़ा सा imagination जानो तो बना yes sir yes sir and when lobe will start rotating, what is going to be happen? Air is taken from this side. And that air is also going to entrap. The air kutas ate, it air ikras ate. And it the air khalidakal is ate. And it the lobe vegana pirolia mula. Ya air la pudha ya lobe dware push kailas ate. Like veins only. The air will be pushed from the vacuum to this middle part. And then from this middle part to the discharge end. And here you can see that the air is pressurized due to these lobes. 
and that highly pressurized air is taken outside vacuum peksha jast pressure ya lobe compressor madun alela air la asto because in this lobe compressor air is moved air is transferred air is transported with very high velocity ani jave velocity vadte air chi tyale automatically tyacha je pressure ahe te pressure vadlela aplyala dista sadhi goshta hai tumhi ashi phunkar marun baga ani jorat ashi phunkar marun baga ज्या वेळी तुम्ही सौम्य पुंकर मारता त्यावेळी एअरची व्हेलॉसिटी कमी असते आणि त्याच्यावर प्रेशरही कमी असतं बट वेन यू विल इन्क्रीज द व्हेलॉसिटी डेफिनेटली द प्रेशर विल ऑल्सो मोअर द सेम थिंग इज गोईंग टू बी हॅपन हिअर द एअर टेकन इन साइड फ्रॉम द इनलेट इज प्रेशराइज ड्यू टू मुवमेंट ऑफ द लोब्स बिकॉज लोब्स आर रोटेटिंग विथ द हायर व्हेलॉसिटी and we can get the highly compressed air at second end now you can tell me whether working of working and construction of the lobe is this much difficult no sir no. no but i want to tell you in the lobe type of the compressor atta parant sa anubhav hai ki lobe type of the compressor jar vicharla tar lobe type cha compressor madhe diagram kadhayla mula baraach vela chukta आणि का चुकतात बिकॉज दी शेप ऑफ द लोब तर हा जो लोबचा शेप आहे तो तुम्हाला एक्झॅक्ट जमला पाहिजे कमी जास्त वगैरे तिथं होता कामा नये सो यू नीड टू प्रॅक्टिस द डायग्राम ऑफ द लोब ब्लोअर ओके अँड दॅट विल बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू पीपल सो आय थिंक दिस लोब ब्लोअर वर्किंग इज अंडरस्टूड बाय यू Have you understood the working of the lobe blower? Yes, yes sir. Lobe type of the compressor? Yes, sir. Just a minute. We will, we will check whether any animation is available or not. So this animation will clear uh, more ideas regarding uh, with this lobe type of the compressor. Let us check it. I think you haven't drawn the diagram yet. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. Just a minute. I will provide sufficient amount of time. to draw the things so sometime such a lobe blower is having two sides sometime it has three sides okay so we will see it this same blower is called as the root blower also so just tell me whether the sound is audible to you or not The SRU is Alpha Laval's core rotary lobe pump. In addition to being able to handle the widest range of temperatures and pressures, the SRU offers the most extensive options in our rotary lobe pump portfolio. The SRU has heavy-duty shafts and taper roller bearings throughout. And combined with highly simplified construction and maintenance procedures, it reduces the These need for the maintenance shafts. and the risk of costly downtime. to which the lobes are attached d 
These are the lobes. And this is the casing. And this is only one shaft. The SRU features the taper lock timing system. This system allows quick and easy synchronization of the rotors, highly simplifying the timing procedure and reducing maintenance cost. By simply tightening a few screws, the gear and shaft are securely locked together. Also, with the elimination of keyways, users can benefit from increased pump life. The SRU provides many seal solutions, which makes it suitable for a wide range of applications. The SRU offers the choice of single, single flush, and double mechanical seals, all of which are easily interchangeable. Seals are also available in R90 and high clean versions, as well as other proprietary seal designs. In short, the SRU has the right seal for the job, resulting in long seal life and reduced maintenance. The SRU also features universal mounting, which gives you complete installation flexibility throughout the plant. Adding to its flexibility, the SRU features trilobe and bilobe rotors in 316L stainless steel. The trilobe is our standard option and provides gentle and efficient product handling. Upon the diagram of the Dakulele, I had the trilobe. Trilobe means it has three that uh, circular shaped lobes. Suitable for most applications. So these are the trilobes. High precision manufacturing combined with world class quality control ensures that pump components are completely interchangeable. And here you can see the, the bilobes. Complex rebuild procedures. This results in highly simplified maintenance and reduction of costly downtime. The bilobe rotor is the best solution for pumping liquids containing solids with minimal damage. For improved volumetric efficiency when transferring low viscosity liquids, the bilobe rotors are also available in non-galling alloy. This allows closer pump head clearance and reduced slip. Sir. Hmm. Yes. Uh, video last. Among the other options available are the integral relief valves, jackets and saddles, and a rectangular inlet. The relief valve can be retrofitted to a previously installed pump and protects the pump from overpressurization. Saddles and jackets are used when heating or cooling of the pump head is required. The rectangular inlet enables extremely viscous products to be pumped. The SRU is perfectly suited for both cleaning and sterilization in place. It is certified to EHEDG 3A and complies with many stringent standards. Hukum! Pani sir ke upar se ja chuka hai hukum. Rajasthan mein baar kya ho raha hai? Acha. Ab ye final notice mein pata hai kya? One of the most common pump types in the food and pharmaceutical industry is the rotary lobe pump. Viking's line of hygienic pumps by Rightflow Technologies includes lobe pumps, 
with model sizes and designs to cover a wide range of pumping applications and hygienic requirements. Low pumps are similar in pumping action to external gear pumps, but differ in that the rotors are driven independently on two rotating shafts. A pair of external timing gears ensure that the rotors do not contact. As the rotors turn, a cavity is formed at the inlet side of the pump. This creates a vacuum to pull the liquid into the spaces between the tips of the lobes. This liquid is trapped between these lobes and the close-fitting casing wall. The rotation of the rotors carries the liquid around to the outlet side of the pump. The liquid does not pass between the rotors. At the outlet, the meshing of the lobes forces the liquid through the outlet port. Because of the large pumping cavities and non-contacting design, these pumps are ideal for the gentle handling of both thin and viscous liquids and liquids containing large solids. They are designed to be easily cleaned, making them ideal for applications requiring sanitary construction. Yes. So this is the next type of the compressor after the vein and it is named as a lobe type of the compressor. The same lobe type of the compressor is known by the name of the root type of compressor also. Ya lobe type cha compressor large, root type cha compressor asa sudha mantan. Both are one and same. Manja zar examination madhe lobe cha evaji root ha shabda ala, tar tumit samzun gaitza ki it is similar to the lobe blower. Have you understood it? Yes, sir. Can you yes, sir. can you keep in your mind? Can you re recall it? Ki baba lobe type manjas root type. Yes, sir. Okay. So can we move ahead? Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is the explanation about the root type of the blower, which is nothing but the lobe type of compressor. And uh, it is very easy, and we have seen here. So I think uh, we need not to uh, uh, concentrate more or need not to write all these things in our uh, notebook. But I want to highlight some points over here. So this root blower is also one type of the positive type of displacement comp compressor because it pressurizing the air and it pushes in the forward direction. So this is the one another type of the rotary compressor, positive displacement compressor. It consists of the two shafts and two or three lobes. Two shafts means one shaft for one lobe, another shaft for another lobe. And that may be bi-lobe or tri-lobe. Two or three lobes means bi-lobe or tri-lobe. Bi means two lobes, tri means three lobes. And uh, have you seen that bi-lobes and tri-lobes in the diagram, uh, sorry, in the video? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I have yes, shown sir. you. Okay. And uh, it mesh like the teeth of the gear pump. I have told you. The teeth are chains and sprockets arrangement as the chapadatina take maker fix. And rotate about 15,000 RPM in opposite direction to each other. So, if one lobes are clockwise, it is automatically anti-clockwise. Okay, it is shown in the video also. But see, what is the speed? Speed is 15,000 revolution per minute. You tell me, what was the speed of the vein type of blower? 3000 RPM. 3000 means almost five times more rotations you can get in the lobe type of the compressor, which are 3000 RPM mintala. second kiti? Three thousand revolution per minute. Then for one second, fifty RPM. Fifty RPM for one second, and this is five times more means two fifty RPM per second. Fifteen thousand revolution per minute means two fifty revolution per second, and you can imagine the speed now of the lobes. And due to that particular speed, the air which is taken from the suction side is entrapped and it is transferred with uh, to the discharge port. Okay. And that particular pressure is slightly more than the atmospheric pressure and that highly pressurized air we can take at the another end. This is the working of the root type of the blower means lobe type of the blower. 
you can write down a note in your notebook note note the lobe type of blower the lobe type of the blower is also known is also known is also known by the name of by the name of by the name of root type of compressor oblique blower root type of compressor oblique blower root type of compressor oblique blower now we have learned about the reciprocating compressor and rotary compressor and here there is a slide in front of you which will mention us about the comparison between reciprocating compressor and rotary compressor okay to yahan hame comparison dikh jata hai reciprocating compressor ka aur rotary compressor ka now you can tell me which is the type of the reciprocating compressor रेसिप्रोकेटिंग कंप्रेसर का कौन सा टाइप हमने पढ़ा है सिंगल एक्टिंग डबल एक्टिंग सिंगल स्टेज सिंगल स्टेज एंड मल्टी स्टेज करेक्ट और रोटरी कंप्रेसर के कौन से टाइप्स हमने पढ़े हैं वेन टाइप एंड लोब टाइप यस वेन टाइप एंड लोब टाइप नाउ ब्रिंग बोथ द मॉडल्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू त्याचे जे काही मॉडेल्स आहेत ते दोन्ही मॉडेल्स तुम्ही तुमच्या डोळ्यासमोर आणा आणि आता आपल्याला याची कंपॅरिझन सुरू करायची ओके द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज ऑफ द डिस्चार्ज रेसिप्रोकेटिंग कॉम्प्रेसर आर प्रोव्हायडिंग लेस डिस्चार्ज बिकॉज रेसिप्रोकेटिंग कॉम्प्रेसर मधून जी काही एअर तुम्ही कॉम्प्रेस करणार आहे ती त्या सिलेंडर मध्ये जेवढी एअर बसेल तेवढीच एअर तुम्ही प्रत्येक स्ट्रोकला कॉम्प्रेस करणार दॅट्स वाय देर इज अ लो डिस्चार्ज अँड द डिस्चार्ज इज थर्टी मीटर क्यूब पर मिनिट थर्टी मीटर क्यूब हाऊ टू कॅल्क्युलेट द मीटर क्यूब कॅन एनिबडी विल टेल मी मीटर क्यूब म्हणजे काय बऱ्याच वेळा आपण हा शब्द वापरलेला आहे मीटर क्यूब मीटर क्यूब बट वॉट डू यू मीन बाय मीटर क्यूब येस हु विल टेल कॅन यू लिसन मी हॅलो येस सर वॉट डू यू मीन बाय मीटर क्यूब मीटर क्यूब मोजायचं कसं कुणाला आयडिया आहे का त्याची असेल तर सांगा नसेल तर नाही म्हणा मग मी सांगतो मीटर क्यूब म्हणजे काय मीटरचा क्यूब म्हणजे काय थर्टी मीटर क्यूब हवा तुम्ही मोजणार कशी किंवा इमॅजिन कशी करणार वॉट डू यू मीन बाय वन मीटर क्यूब वन मीटर क्यूब मीन्स क्यूब ऑफ लेंथ वन मीटर ब्रेड वन मीटर अँड absolutely correct absolutely correct do you know uh, what is the density of water what is the density of water how much kilogram per meter cube density is in kilogram meter cube am i correct have you studied it or not meter cube density have you studied it or not up to 12th yes or no yes then what is the density of water 997 kg per meter 997 kg per meter cube means around 1000 kg per meter cube barobar hai yes sir mag hi mojli kashi 
मी तुम्हाला जर वॉटर दिलं आणि सांगितलं की याची डेन्सिटी मला मोजून दाखवा तर तुम्ही ती मोजणार कशी सी सच काइंड ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ड इन दी इंटरव्यू हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू डू इट टेल मी सिंपल है वन थाउजंड किलोग्राम पर मीटर क्यू एम आई करेक्ट यस ओके बॉइज आर यू लिस्निंग और जस्ट यू हैव लॉक्ड इन इन दिस जूम अकाउंट सो यू नीड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ कंटेनर ऑफ वन मीटर लेंथ वन मीटर ब्रेड एंड वन मीटर हाइट एक मीटर लेंथ असलेली एक मीटर विड्थ असलेली आणि एक मीटर हाईट असलेला एक भांड तयार करायचंय तुम्हाला एक बॉक्स तयार करायचा आहे आणि त्या बॉक्स मध्ये तुम्हाला काय करायचंय पाणी ओतायचंय आणि त्या बॉक्सचं वजन करायचंय आता बॉक्स कितीचा आहे तुमचा वन बाय वन बाय वन करेक्ट येस सर तो दॅट पर्टिक्युलर साईज इज ऑफ वन मीटर क्यूब अँड इन दॅट वन मीटर क्यूब हाऊ मच what are is going to be there that you are going to measure and its weight will be 997 or whatever 1000 around 1000 kg and tacharun tharavla ki water ki density 1000 kg per meter cube hai eka meter cube madhe to padartha kiti basto tyachavarun tyachi ji kay ahe ti tyacha je density ahe ti tharte okay but this meter cube is what मीटर क्यूब क्यूब इज युनिट ऑफ वॉट वॉल्यूम एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट इट इज दी वॉल्यूम सो थर्टी मीटर क्यूब पर मिनिट एयर यू कैन गेट एज अ डिस्चार्ज फ्रॉम द रेसिप्रोकेटिंग कॉम्प्रेसर एका मिनटा मध्य जर तुम्हें तीस मीटर लंब तीस मीटर रुंद तीस मीटर उच अखादी खोली तैयार के लिए खोली भरायला रेसिप्रोकेटिंग कॉम्प्रेसरला किती वेळ लागतो एक मिनिट लागतो फक्त ओके अँड हिअर देर इज अ स्मॉल मिस्टेक रोटरी कॉम्प्रेसर कॅन प्रोव्हाइड द लार्ज डिस्चार्ज टेन टाइम्स मोर इट शुड बी थ्री हंड्रेड मीटर क्यूब ही साधारणतः किती पाहिजे थ्री हंड्रेड मीटर क्यूब म्हणजे तीनशे मीटर लांब तीनशे मीटर रुंद आणि तीनशे मीटर उंच अशा पद्धतीचं जर तुम्ही एखादी खोली बांधली एखादा इमारत बांधली तर ती पूर्ण हवेनं भरायला रोटरी कॉम्प्रेसरला फक्त एक मिनिट लागतो मीन टेन टाइम्स मोर डिस्चार्ज इज देअर इन द रोटरी कॉम्प्रेसर बट रेसिप्रोकेटिंग कॉम्प्रेसर कॅन प्रोव्हाइड द एअर विथ हाय प्रेशर हाय प्रेशरची जी एअर आहे ती रेसिप्रोकेटिंग कॉम्प्रेसर देते रोटरी कॉम्प्रेसर कॅनॉट प्रोव्हाइड the high pressure rotary compressor can provide low pressure okay rotary compressor je ahe te kay kartat low pressure chi air detat but they are providing it ample amount tumhala jar high pressurized air nako asel nuste low pressurized air pahije asel atmospheric peksha thodi shi jast pan not that much high then you can use the rotary compressor and pressure you can see 1000 kg per cm3 je jar 1 by 1 cm cha tukda ghetla tar tya tukdyavar 1000 kg itka pressure ene itka je kai pressure ahe te reciprocating compressor madna amala milta tar low pressure madhe it is almost 100 times less than the reciprocating compressor that is 10 kg per cm2 ओके देन स्पीड एज पर स्पीड इज गोइंग टू बी कन्सर्न द पिस्टन एंड सिलेंडर अरेजमेंट इज देअर इन अटिंग कॉम्प्रेसर दैट्स वाय इट हैज व्हेरी लो स्पीड त्याचा स्पीड कसा आहे अत्यंत कमी आहे आणि रोटरी कॉम्प्रेसर इट हॅज स्पीड अराउंड फाइव फिफ्टी थाउजंड आरपीएम रोटरी कॉम्प्रेसर च स्पीड किती आहे फिफ्टी थाउजंड आरपीएम चा आहे ओके द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज इंटरमिटंट डिस्चार्ज रिसीवर फॉर कॉम्प्रेस्ड एअर इज इशियल इंटरमिटंट म्हणजे तिथं पॉज आहे कंटिन्युअस मिळत नाही 
टप्प्या टप्प्याने मिळतात थांबून 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 मिळतात देर आर सम इंटरवल्स इन द डिस्चार्ज कंटिन्युअस डिस्चार्ज इज नॉट देअर अँड रिसिव्हर फॉर कॉम्प्रेस्ड एअर इज इसेन्शियल कारण एअर इज हायली कॉम्प्रेस्ड दॅट्स वाय यू विल हॅव टू रिसिव्ह इट इन वन कंटेनर यू डायरेक्टली कॅनॉट थ्रो टू द ऍटमॉस्फिअर ओके जर तुम्ही त्या ऍटमॉस्फिअरला तेवढी एकदम हायली कॉम्प्रेस्ड एअर सोडून दिली तर देअर मे बी कॉजेस ऑफ सम ऍक्सिडेंट सो यू विल हॅव टू कलेक्ट इट इन इन द कंटेनर इन द सिलेंडर अँड देन यू विल हॅव टू युज इट बट इन रोटरी कॉम्प्रेसर डिस्चार्ज इज कंटिन्युअस अँड रिसिव्हर इज नॉट अट ऑल रिक्वायर्ड डायरेक्टली यू कॅन अटॅच द पाईप and you can use wherever you want to use it the next is as per as size is going to be concerned reciprocating compressors are having large size moti size aste and rotary compressors are compact and small in size then lubrication is very complicated in case of the reciprocating and in rotary compressor case lubrication is very very easy there is a low speed of the reciprocating compressor that's why balancing is not the problem but in rotary compressor perfect balancing is required balancing sir bigadla tar your machine will not give the efficiency and as you know that there is a more lubrication in the reciprocating compressor then some oil particles can mixed with the air and the compressed air may be the dirty air ti ji compressed air hai tyachyamadhe kai oil che particle than asa dhul dhuli che particle oil madhe mix zalele ashi dirt bahar fekli jau shakte air barobar but you can get the clean air in rotary compressor so this is the comparison between rotary and the reciprocating compressor okay so friends this comparison is very very much important only one change you will have to make it here that uh, discharge you will have to increase in case of the rotary compressor i request you the lecture is uh, about to end so here i request you i think you have not drawn the diagram of the lobe pump am i correct yes sir so i will provide time to you to draw this diagram and uh, we will uh, start in the next lecture with this comparison once again at that time i will dictate this comparison to you so now the diagram of the lobe blower is in front of you i request you to draw it in your notebook your time starts now i'll take attendance time